Worldwide Hippies presents Hippie News and Stuff with Winston Smith and the Worldwide Hippies News Team. Welcome to Hippie TV News and Stuff for the week of June 6th. Brought to you by WorldwideHippies.com, your website for news and information without corporate control. I am Winston Smith. Tiananmen Square anniversary, Pentagon gets a raise, Pete Nolan will be here with a report, our asshole of the week and more. But here first, our top story. From Op-Ed News, on Tuesday, somebody claiming to speak for the underground group Anonymous released a video declaration of war against, quote, the system. The YouTube manifesto is a call to everyone in the online world to get off the couch, pick up their cell phones and laptops, and join a revolt against governments and corporations that are intent upon stifling free speech online. Anonymous consists of a loose-knit collective of underground hackers and internet freedom advocates along with other activist groups. The nonviolent Anonymous has launched several successful operations to bring down the websites of governments and corporations and political groups it sees as oppressors. And could this next story be related? A major online attack was launched earlier this month against the networks of Lockheed Martin, the country's largest defense contractor and recipient of tax dollars. Last Saturday, Lockheed Martin released a statement confirming the attack, which it described as significant and tenacious. The company said, our systems remain secure, no customer program or employee personal data has been compromised. What else could they say? We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. So, gentlemen, as you can see, our third quarter profits were up. Ah, sirs, we have a leak. A leak? What sort of leak? A wiki leak. W what does the leak say? It says... It says that we're all assholes. <laughs> wait, 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 there's something else. Oh, something else? It, it also says... It says we're a bunch of shitbags. What the fuck? Yeah! What the fuck? I love you. Now, back to our show. And here is P.E. Nolan with her activist report. How did it go at the Jefferson Memorial last Saturday? Tracy? Hey, Winston. Thank you. Saturday, June the 4th, Adam Kokesh of Adam versus the Man and 200 people or so were dancing at TJ's. That is Thomas Jefferson's to illustrate the government's infringement on our constitutional liberties. A week earlier, Adam and others were arrested at the Jefferson Memorial for silently dancing. No music, no shouting, just a little shuffling around the statue. Uh, they were drawing attention to a recent court ruling prohibiting dancing uh, there as a result of a 2008 incident when U.S. Parks Police arrested somebody else for dancing at the Jefferson Memorial. Thomas Jefferson himself was a champion of the freedom of speech. That's our First Amendment right. And the whole point of free speech is that the government should not determine what is and is not appropriate. That is why those people from Westboro Baptist Church can hang out at military funerals saying that God hates gays. It's free speech. Some people say, that Adam created a spectacle for his own personal reality show. But the point of that spectacle is that our freedoms are being systematically restricted by a government that controls through fear. When onlookers see protesters thrown to the ground by police and punched as they are handcuffed, it cuts down on the number of future protests. Uh, since most people in this country pay more attention to Lindsay Lohan and Snooki than the rights we have under the Constitution, it's going to take a media savvy promoter like Adam to get the party started. 
Thanks, Winston. Back to you. And you can see P.E. Nolan each Monday here on Hippie TV News with their activist report. Here's some other stuff. From MonstersAndCritics.com. Massive crowds in Hong Kong mark 1989 Beijing Massacre Anniversary. A vast crowd estimated at up to 150,000 joined a candlelight vigil in Hong Kong Saturday to mark the 22nd anniversary of the Tiananmen Square Massacre in Beijing. The event in Hong Kong, which has a mini constitution guaranteeing free speech and the right to demonstrate, is the only public commemoration of the June 4, 1989 killings held on Chinese soil. There has been a virtual media blackout on the anniversary from the corporate press here in the U.S., though. Organizers said 150,000 attended the annual event in the former British colony, while police, who traditionally downplayed the turnout, said it was in the region of 77,000. Six football fields in Hong Kong's Victoria Park were filled with people for the demonstration, appearing to confirm the organizers' estimate, which would make it one of the biggest turnouts in history. Speaking of China, the Pentagon was assured its budget of over $700 billion is good to go for next year. Congress and the President has virtually okayed an increase of between 3 and 10 percent over last year's budget. Why this is not an exact figure is because since the Reagan years, the Pentagon's growth has been so big and so many corporations have so many deals with so many politicians and the revolving door between the two has left a branch of government that politicians and government accounting agencies admit they have no way to audit. We could actually be spending trillions of dollars each year or more in the Pentagon and would have no way of knowing it. This is sickening. If this seems like our president also lied when he said the Pentagon budget will be cut back next year because all must sacrifice to the budget boogeyman, he did. Has anyone noted the way Obama always makes his statements to the press like they're done deals, then we never hear about him concerning those statements again? Remember the Gulf Coast investigations? What about gas price fixing? What about Wall Street crime, radiation over the U.S., the poor, education? Well, the list goes on and on. Talk is cheap and Obama is a corporate cheap. Just my opinion. Oh, it's time for our asshole of the week. And this week it goes to Orlando, Florida City Council for their law against feeding poor people. Yeah. New tonight, the city of Orlando kept its promise and had police arrest members of a group serving meals to the homeless. The police said they violated the city ordinance by feeding the homeless in Lake Aeola Park. The group lost a court battle last April, clearing the way for the city to enforce this ordinance. It requires the groups to actually obtain a permit and limits each group to two permits per year for each park within a two-mile radius of City Hall. If this sounds ridiculous and Orwellian, it is. Arrest papers stated that the three helped feed 40 people Wednesday. That is now a crime. The ordinance applies to feeding of more than 25 people. They intentionally violated the statute, said Lieutenant Barbara Jones, an Orlando police spokesperson. They basically carted them off to jail for feeding hungry people. For them to regulate a time and place for free speech and to share food is just unacceptable, or should be in America, but it's not down in Florida. Orlando Food Not Bombs has been feeding homeless breakfast on Mondays for several years and dinner on Wednesday for five years. The penalty for violating Orlando's ordinance is 60 days in jail, a $500 fine, or both. Bail was set for each person at $250. This is yet another example of corrupt politicians and judges working together to oppress underpowered and underprivileged in Florida. So now it's not only a crime to be poor in Florida, it's a crime to help poor people. And that is why Orlando, Orlando City Council is worldwide hippies and half And that's it for Hippie TV News this week, brought to you by WorldwideHippies.com. Visit the site often for updates every two hours, with original articles from our own writers each day also. And we will see you next month.